Okay, now we're going to do a landscape uh, painting based on Master Ma Yuan of the Southern Song Dynasty. Uh, her style is known as the one corner landscape. This is very typical. Um, you don't do the mag this majestic mountain like a northern zone. This is southern zone. They have lost most of the territory. It was said, so they 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 take refuge in the corner of the China in Hangzhou, the southeast China. And the style become concentrated on the local uh, landscape, just a, a little corner, uh, like a ref you know uh, uh, retreat. <laughs> um, from the, the large landscape. Anyway, uh, this painting um, emphasizes on uh, the tree, right? The tree is a pine tree and uh, with the snow on, in the background. So it's a uh, winter landscape. Uh, we need to save the white. And uh, maybe we can apply some white because the, the silk we use is uh, colored. So it's, it's good to, to use a little white, um, but not too much. <coughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is chasing this tree. I start from where the tree starts to uh, split into branches. So I do this front branch first. And it's very important to tell which is front, which is back, and gombi by line. So, you know, which is front. It's very clear. With outline. You have to read the painting <laughs> very carefully. Uh, this could be a cy cypress tree. But the branch looks like pine, so still, I'll do it in a pine tree. But you can you can just trace yours mm -hmm. like that, and uh, uh, pay attention on the on the trunk. Uh, the stroke is thicker, and by you know the different uh, thickness of the stroke, you already distinguish the, the the trunk from branches. So the quality of line should go with the object. If the line is rough, you know, uh, on the trunk, it should have frequent passes, not just go straight like a, a orchid leaf, obvious. So uh, you should indicate the knobs like that. So you go with some dotted lines, uh, where old tree, you know, create a rough. You can have the clear copy in front of you so you can see what you're doing. I try to understand, not just the blind you know, copy mechanical copy, but try to understand, depend to what you like. And you can just do like a 50% or 70% of the original. Uh, try to simplify it. Just do the most important part. Pay attention on what's front, what's back, and to uh, make a pause when you, when you turn. So each stroke has a beginning and ending, just like we write calligraphy. Uh, you should see where you start and end before you do it. Okay. So not just just make a circle. You you need to uh, start and finish each line. Even the short lines, you know, like that, as a start and a finish. And some uh, line, like bark, it's a half circle or some kind of. You can feel some dots. Uh, try to be suggestive. You don't have to copy exactly uh, to write, you know, in the mood of 
without hesitation. Don't trace, just you know, write. Uh, paint, not draw, right? What do you call it? Don't repeat. Uh, try to do it very firmly. That's the southern song style. Very um, stiff lines. <laughs> very certain lines. Not a uh, like stick, you know, like bone stroke. See, the brush is hold straight. I'm using this small weasel brush from the uh, basic three. The small weasel brush, stiff brush. Try to <coughs> study the the picture uh, with more uh, detail, maybe on this uh, black and white uh, photo part instead of the line that I uh, created with computer to for you to see the contour. But it's easier with the details to see what the exactly the end result is uh, going to be. So we combine those. Try to do it uh, without uh, doubt. You know, you will show it in a brush if you don't know what uh, it is. I think I can start to do some uh, pine foliages. They're not really very um, developed in terms of needles uh, like we usually see. Maybe because it's a snow uh, mm -hmm. scenery, they try to create this kind of feel that the, the white on the on the leaf or the branches. So leave a lot of little space in between the dots of the leaves to suggest uh, frost. I'll try to keep that in mind. It's a snow. So don't uh, repeat the stroke. Try to create space between the little... You can do it in a group of five, maybe. A li little simplified uh, pine group. Let, let me show you it on this. If you do it uh, in, a, in a large way, it's like, a, like that, of seven, maybe. Uh, and you, d you make it small, maybe uh, that's how it, it is. So you, you do it in a, in a element. Uh, we call it fractal. In a computer language, you call it fractal element. Uh, so you just repeat this uh, group of, uh, just like it's bamboo leaves, there's three or five. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the, it's, it's enlarged, uh, there's, it's small, so you can just overlap a little bit maybe, but not to, to the extent to make it uh, blocked. Mm -hmm. I think it, you, you can see it. So all the strokes are from outside in. I see that. <coughs> so you can create your own pattern uh, and then repeat that.
You understand? To create an element that you repeat, like a clone it. It's the basic method. So you you don't um, cr you don't paint like a, with without uh, this uh, this element we call it a fractal element. When you when you go to natural, we already know this kind of style types we call it in the book of uh, master see the garden menu you can find all this little uh, style patterns we call it. Uh, uh, formula types. You can just repeat that. And basically, one tree would be one pattern, one, one element. And there is some snow, so you, you do it partially, some and uh, like uh, covered by snow. So it, you, you impressionistically, <laughs> not uh, painting the snow, but keep in mind the frost, uh, snow, and the leaves, so you leave some little space not to paint all black. I think I can exaggerate maybe leave more white than the original. Let's see if I can do that. There's some old line on top of the tree. It's vertical lines. This this indicated the age at the time. The, the white snow is usually on top of the, the foliage, mm -hmm. so we paint more uh, black towards the, the bottom of the branch, maybe the other groove, and leave some uh, uh, white on top. That will suggest some snow. There are many names for this kind of dots. And some named like uh, moss footprints, some uh, like uh, pepper uh, dots, pepper, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Um, I don't know what name for this, but uh, it's, it's, it's a, like a pine. Either. I will say it's like little flower. Uh, we, we call it a little plum. plum. Dots, little plum, flower, blossom, like five petals. Mm -hmm. That kind of same idea, like uh, you, you dot the petals. Not ha has to be wrong to do. We call it Mei Hua Dian in Chinese. Mei Hua Dian. Mei Hua Dian. You understand? Mm. How do you say it in, Ch in English? Plum, blossom, dots. Right? Yeah. Plum, yeah. blossom. Plum blossom, yeah, just do little plum blossom dots, but the, that's the organize, uh, uh, the structure of the, the dots. So um, how you develop this? It takes time, right? But it's uh, uh, be patient and because in the past, past uh, they do one tree in three days <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one rock mm -hmm. in, in five days, something like that. Uh, Mm -hmm. Since it there's snow, we can uh, take advantage of that. You can leave more space on, on the leaf. Just to, uh, maybe leave more than the original does. So it would have some white. I uh, I see the early uh, oil painting, like realistic in French, uh, in, in museums uh, in Paris. Uh, they are also, you know, that that dotted with this kind of uh, pattern. Not just impressionistic <laughs> strokes, you know. So the structure, uh, like the leaf structure, is very organized, like this. It's a similar, it's quite similar to each other. But we don't use color, that's the difference. I mean, use color as a guest. You see, ink is the, the color we use primarily.
try to create a uh, dance and sparse contrast, not just uh, evenly spread. We call it the, the tree branches, uh, four, it goes four directions. Uh, four branches, like uh, you know, three leaves, of, okay, we have four branches for the tree. <coughs> There's a character for that. It's the, the mustard, uh, character for mustard, jie in Chinese. It's for, for, with four strokes, like four branches of the tree. Try to keep consistent uh, size. That's the uh, kind of uh, challenge for patients, for your patients. Uh, mm -hmm. Just do it uh, in the consistent, but like a computer does mm -hmm. with a uh, chrome. You just chrome the, the same element. Like a chrome brush. And you know what I mean? The, the chrome brush can copy a pattern, spread a pattern. So the, they said the fractal element is first introduced in Chinese landscape painting. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so the, um, this is how computer graphic uh, you record uh, record uh, like a tree. They don't pixel by pi go pixel by pixel. They, they use fractal concept for elements too. So it it saves a lot of uh, memory <laughs> too. <laughs> Yeah. Make sure the the leaves are uh, structured and it was the underlying. Uh, branches, so the branches should underline all the leaves. So they're not flying in the sky, in the sky, in the air. <laughs> 